Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we have got a mega PR and more haul. Some of this stuff is PR, some of this stuff is stuff I got online, some of this stuff is stuff that I got using a mega ton of extra bucks from CVS. There's so much stuff here that not only does it take up this giant TJ Maxx bag, which yes there are some TJ Maxx stuff in here, but there's also, it's also in this Star Wars The Last Jedi bag that I got from Bilo before it closed in our little town. So if you want to know what all I've been hoarding, just keep watching. here on Southeast by Midwest before we jump into all of the products we always disclose and the disclosure for this post is that some of this stuff is PR some of the stuff is not PR and I'll try to note what is and isn't PR but in all honesty some of it I don't really remember some of it's stuff that I was gifted by friends uh, I do know for sure that the pixie products are PR so um, this is gonna take so much that I even brought extra batteries all right so the first store that I picked is Hot Topic and from Hot Topic, I got this Moana palette. This is the Heart of Tafiti eyeshadow palette. It is like out of stock right now. It is $14.90, but you can usually get it on sale for like $11 and some change. It has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen 10, 12, 13 shadows and like a highlighter. It has a mirror at the top and it's got a bunch of Moana stuff all over it. I honestly got this palette because this was Norby's favorite movie. So, and in honor of Norby, I had to get it whether I use it or not, so. The next store was TJ Maxx, and at TJ Maxx, I picked up the Kat Von D Locket Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer in light. It looks like this, and it is basically like a, a concealer crayon almost, but as a primer. And on the site, I actually have what it retails for with links to like the Sephora link and then how much I bought it for. So check out the blog post for the price comparisons. I also picked up the Ole Henriksen Cleaning Truth Cleansing Cloths. There are 30 of these. I love the Ole Henriksen products that I got from Influencer, so I thought I would try out the cleansing cloths. And I also picked up this pack of Nurture Me cleansing cloths as well, which is the purple pack. And then the last thing that I got, which is absolutely hilarious, make sure to come back on Friday because you'll see why this is hilarious, but I got the original makeup eraser for $8. This retails for $20 at Sephora. I know that for sure, but I picked this up for $8. So everybody I've heard has raved about it and I wanted to give it a try on the channel and let you know if you should pick it up yourself. So I'm going to review that. The next one that I shopped at was Walmart. Some of this is full price, some of it is clearance. The first item that I found was from the Wet n Wild Goth Collection and it is the highlighter and purple ashes. It has like the skull inside of it. And then I also picked up the Liquid Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadow in Mystic Dreamer from the Goth Collection. And then I also picked up the Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick in Pastel Grunge from the same collection. So I was able to find three of those products. I was able to get two Flower Beauty products. The first one is their Hydra Silk Ultimate Lip Butter in Blush Petal. And it is basically just a stick lip product. And then I, by the way, this, the packaging, Lux. Love that packaging. And then I found a Flower Beauty liquid lipstick in Autumn Rose. I think this is the Lip Radiance. Again, the packaging is amazing. And the last thing I got is actually something that I saw recommended by My Beauty Bunny. And it is the Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Serum. And I'm wondering if this is going to be a dupe for the Guerlain a gold product that Toddy and Jeffree Star are always recommending. So that's what I got there. Next is the big bag of stuff that I got from CVS with all my extra bucks. And I actually still have extras that I got from that too. Makeup Academy, a stippling brush and a Makeup Academy BBC, BB slash CC cream brush. And then I picked up an e.l.f. Precision Airbrush Blender brush. 
So I want to give these a try. I picked up a pair of the Ardell Magnetic Accents in Accents 001 to try these magnetic lashes and see what I think of those. I picked up the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder to give a try. You guys seem to love my Rimmel videos. So I bought quite a few Rimmel products. I bought the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation in 101 Classic Ivory. I also picked up the Rimmel Instant Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint in 006 Light Medium. Um, I also picked up the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Concealer in 100 Fair. I picked up the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And I picked up a Rimmel because I've been gearing more towards red lipsticks, although you couldn't tell that right now. I'm actually testing this for graduation. But I picked up the Rimmel Lasting K in 111 Kiss of Life, which is a deeper red shade. And then I picked up the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in 10 which is the black packaging, which is a brighter red. The last two Rimmel products I picked up were the Soft Cold Kajal Eyeliner Pencil from Rimmel, which is just the actual pencil one that you can, you know, it's like a pencil <laughs> that you could sharpen. And then I also picked up the Rimmel Scandalize Nude if you are an OG Southeast by Midwest uh, watcher, like back when I was cast the southern bell or something like that uh i loved this eye pencil and i decided to finally restock on it that's all the rimmel stuff so for physician's formula i picked up the physician's formula butter highlighter in pearl because i do have one of the butter bronzers and the butter blush even though you've never seen it on here um so i'm thinking of actually covering like all of the butter products and giving you my opinion on those and I also picked up the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation in LN3. Color matching this was the hardest because the CVS I went to, the color options were just so all over the place and random. They only had a spot for like four shades. And the rhyme and reason to the four that they chose, there really wasn't one. So I chose the one that when I looked up the swatches looked like it would best match me. So here's hoping that it actually does. All right, that looks to be the last physician formula. I picked up two Revlon products. Uh, this is the Revlon Kiss Balm in Sweet Cherry. And then I also picked up their Exfoliating Balm in Sugar Mint. I saw these and thought I'd give them a try, but I also got them because I got the Maybelline Baby Lips and Cherry Me. Again, if you've been around for a while, you know I used to love this, so I wanted to replace it. Um, so I kind of wanted to compare these and see how they went. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And then to go along with that, because they were buying a buy, doing a buy one, get one half off on Maybelline lip products, I also picked up a Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched, which is the one with SPF in it. Uh, let's do nail polish. I picked up an Essie Geranium, which is a nice classic red shade. I wish you guys could see right now because like all this stuff is in my lap and Ghost is now climbing in my lap to investigate what all the heck I'm doing. Sally Hansen was doing a buy one get one half off on the nail polish. So I picked up a Red Eye, which is again another classic red. And I also got the Miracle Gel top coat to go with it because I do have several of these now, but I don't have any of the top coat. So I wanted the top coat and it was buy one get one half off. So I was like, well, I should get a color. Uh, Maybelline, I got the 24 hour foundation in 112 natural ivory. It looks a little light, but I've heard this oxidizes really, really bad. So I went on ahead and grabbed a lighter shade. And then I also picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair because I'm hoping if this oxidizes too bad, the lighter concealer will help me out. And then finishing up Wet n Wild, from there I got the Blossom Glow Hot or the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow because I've heard people rave about these. I also got the Mega Glow Liquid Hello Halo Highlighter in Halo Graphic. And I got a liquid catsuit matte lipstick in pink really hard, which is this nice pinky shade. So it's like a your lips but better for me. And then I also got this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation in shade Light Ivory. 
to try out. Two products that I got from friends. I actually got these used. And this one I got more for the palette than what came on the inside of it. So this is the Balm Lady in the Pug palette. And it looks like this. It is the Balm's kind of Z palette kind of thing. I got the Too Faced Cat Eye palette from another girl. She just wasn't using it that much. And I'm telling you some of these shades look like they have not even been touched. And I'm actually thinking of wearing Panther as kind of like a, maybe like a light smoky eye for graduation because uh, the school I am graduating from and actually the school that I'm going to it are both Panthers. So I thought that might be cool. That was actually Travis's idea. The first set of stuff that I got from Pixies is the Pixie Pretty set. That will be all next week. I am not even kidding you. All next week we'll be covering the Pixie Pretties. So let's start with Wiley's set. It is an eyeshadow palette and an eyeliner. That will be going up, I think, Wednesday. The first one will actually be Chloe Morello's set, and hers was the um, whoop, palette Chloe, which has three face products, uh, six eyeshadows, and three eyeliner slash shadow products, and then a lip icing uh, sold separately. The Wiley set is one purchase. And then the next one is the Dulce Candy set. Hers is a lip palette and then the Cafe Con Dulce, which can be used as face powders, highlights, blushes, or eye powders. So reviews of all of these will be going up next week. Next week is Pixie Pretties all week long. So the next thing from Pixie is I actually received this in between those because I have not put up the Pixie Pretties yet due to being sick. I've mentioned that multiple times. This set I actually just received, so I will be spattering these out throughout the month of May because there is a lot of products in here. Um, <clears throat> there are some of the Endless Silky Eye Pens, which are their like eyeliners and stuff. There's an Eye Define Waterline. There is an Eye Bright Liner, which is similar to the Rimmel Scandalize. And I'm so glad I got the Rimmel Scandalize now because I'm actually thinking of doing a comparison. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. There is a mascara in here, Mega Lash Mascara. So you'll see a review on that. There's the Lash Line Ink in here. And then there's also a Black Lacquer Lash Primer, which I will be putting a review up for that. Um, if not the week after the Pixie Pretties, then the week after that because I have a week of planner stuff coming up in there somewhere. So a lot of fun Pixie products coming up, y'all. Alright, I got two Maybelline palettes from Amazon. One is the Burgundy Bar. This is the Lemonade Craze. And spoiler alert, these are going to go in one post. And the post is going to be Maybelline's new Sucky Ass palettes. Because this one, as much, I haven't even swatched it yet. But even if I do swatch it as much as I like it, the fact that these shadows look like this in the packaging looks like toy makeup. Why would I pay the price that they want for this for makeup that it doesn't even have pans? It's like it's just little bricks of shadows pressed into the plastic pieces. It's It looks fake. It looks junky. It looks... I don't care how great the shadows are, the quality sucks of the packaging. And this one is supposed to smell like lemonade or citrus, and to me, it just smells like hand soap. And it kind of has the similar thing, but they at least brought the plastic up a little bit better. So I'm still going to wear it, I'm still going to swatch it, but just so you know, the title is probably going to be Maybelline's new sucky ass ballots, and I'll never get PR from Maybelline for the rest of my life. I got some things from ColourPop because they were ending them. I picked up the ColourPop Laura Lee um, eyeshadow and lippy set. If you still want me to review these, let me know in the comments down below. I did pick up the KL Polish new, what is this called? Ethereal Garden Collection. It was the spring pastel line. And, you know, it really grinds my gears that she's now putting these out in these boxes, but is it going to release the first three, collect four, three or four collections? boxes that you could purchase for those so now my collection is like three or four sets of um six polishes from gale polish with no boxes and then like four sets that have boxes and it's like and the fact that the boxes like this one came all bent 
and stuff like that because this is how they ship it. Not in a box, in a padded envelope. So it got like all damaged and everything. So whether or not I continue buying from KL Polish is up in the air. This one keeps falling over on Ghost, so I need to go on ahead and cover it. Um, I picked up the Clover bag and the Clover lippy, but it's actually in my purse because I couldn't wait to use that one. So it's in my purse and I forgot to grab it, but I got the Clover lippy and the Clover bag. I also picked up another of the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. Love this stuff. I have a review up at least on the blog that I will link down below because this stuff is amazing. And their samples are amazing. I actually got this little sample of the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. And was that the only sample? Yeah, it was the only sample, but still, it was cool. So I got that from there. I went ages with no Too Faced because I was just eh at them. But I decided to place an order at Sephora before the VIB sale because that's just how I roll and I picked up the just peachy mats because I've heard everybody rave about it and the packaging love it and so far just looking at the shadows makes my heart go so that's why I went on ahead and got the um the cat palette because I got this first and was like oh I love Too Faced again why so the whole reason I ordered from Sephora was because I wanted one of the weekly freebies but because it was like a luxe freebie it wasn't just spend 25 or 35 you had to spend like 45 or something like that so this was just under so I went on ahead and picked up the fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm because uh, Rose and Ben on Instagram raves about this stuff she uses it in most of her uh, insta lives where she gets ready I think she uses them on her YouTube videos and stuff like that so she recommended it I decided to try it before I get into the weekly freebie thing that um you know the spend so many what is it with Sephora now and their their freebie thing you either get none of the freebies or you get none of the ones that you asked for they sent me the fresh black tea firming corset cream I didn't ask for that. I don't even know what the heck a corset cream is. They sent me the Algenis New Breakthrough Micro Algae Oil. It's an anti-aging serum. I would not have asked for that because I'm in love with the serum that I have. And this one I did ask for though. The Burberry Fresh Glow. But so many of my orders I don't get the free samples at all. Or I'll get stupid stuff sent like all men's cologne and Travis doesn't wear cologne except for the one that I talked him into. So it's just like, what is that? But this is the one that I got and oh my god, it came in this little bag and it had like a little ribbon tied on it. I'm in love, love this. And it was for this little cologne, wood, sage, and sea salt. It's a little too musky and manly for me. So actually Travis actually really likes that one. So that is one besides the other one that I could get him to use. I purchased the Bite Beauty Aries lipstick and I got the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara as the freebie for that week. And they sent me one free sample. The Too Faced Glitter Glue, which again, I did not ask for. I asked for other things and they didn't send the other two. But the birthday gift consists, I picked the Bite Beauty one and it is a little bitty Bite Beauty lipstick, a lip pencil, and a lip mask. And I can't wait to try that. The rest of this stuff, Ace all Ulta and some of it is from before the 20% off sale some of it is from the 20% off sale so the first thing I picked up is this Mario Badescu uh, spray I have the aloe one I've actually gone through a little sample size that I got and I've used the full size down to about halfway refilling the small one all the time but I also wanted to try the lavender and the aloe with cucumber and green tea. I don't have a feeling I'm not gonna like that one because I hate the scent of cucumber. So, but I got this set anyway. I picked up, as I said in Monday's video, some Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Gels. I love these. We stock on them all the time and I've actually got Travis hooked on them as well. Smashbox was doing a thing where if you spent so much on Smashbox products, you got a free thing. So I picked up the Super Fan Mascara to actually try the full size 
and it wasn't quite enough so I picked up the primer and I'm thinking about doing a video on mascara primers because I'm starting to collect and the little freebie set was the Studio Swag Set and Slay it has the photo finish primer water the photo finish primer the always on liquid lipstick and stepping out and the be legendary liquid pigment in rose before bros so that's that set oh I also forgot that I got another one of my YSL uh, mascara volume FFO seals in black um, I have reviewed this before love it it is my number one ride or die mascara it is the only mascara that I can put on and it does not break down on my eyes I can literally put this on at 7 o'clock in the morning and at 10 o'clock at night it's still going strong skin Iceland was doing a thing where if you spent so much you got uh, a freebie so I can't remember if I purchased this and got this for free or if I purchased these and got this for free but the eye gels was part of it as well. One of them is the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream with Glacial Flower Extract. I think this might have been what I purchased and I think I got the Glacial Cleansing Cloths for Eyes for free. And look at that, it's like a big 30 pack. It's huge. I also picked up a L'Oreal um, Beauty Blender because I want, I'm thinking about doing a post comparing all the beauty blenders. And we're almost done. We're almost done. I got the Mac Patrick Star Me So Chic set, which comes with a powder, a eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, and a lip glass. This will be going up the week that I start the Pixie. So not this week, because this week is BoxyCharm, this haul, and then Friday is going to be allure unboxings and the next week's is pixie pretties so this will be going up either the week after that or the week after that <laughs> and with that set i picked up the nars uh nars assist wanted little lip duos it comes with two uh red i got the red one it comes with two red liquid lipsticks i am the two in this set are cherry bomb and don't stop and let me tell you this stuff travels because i've already tried one and the two freebies in that were the Bare Minerals Complexion Rush U Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream and the Bare Minerals Want Ridiculously Glowy Skin. So one on one side, one on the other. So that was my big mega haul. Uh, I did forget that I cashed in some points to get these Sephora pins. Um, at least that is everything that I could remember to round up. I'm sure there are other things that I got somewhere or were sent that I didn't remember. Like just right off the top of my head, I got the Wet n Wild Gold Bar from Walgreens and up there I got some OGX products sent to me and down there I got some Neutrogena products sent to me that totally just I forgot to grab so they did not get included I'm so sorry but I don't know how to do this video is so long that there's no way I could do a review haul of everything so I'm gonna have to break up things into different things into different like videos and post because there's also no way unless like I literally do especially since I film three times a week I mean I could probably this would cover me for the rest of the year but I'm willing to bet like the the Aries lipstick is not going to be available throughout the whole year. Um, you know, some of this stuff is seasonal, that kind of stuff. Things go like the Laura Lee stuff is not going to be available anymore. Different things like that. So let me know down in the comments what you want to see first. Uh, what, you know, different ways you could, you would like to... So let me know down in the comments uh, what you want to see first, what you'd like to see together, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really does help. Make sure to, like I said, leave me a comment down below telling me what you want to see first, what you want to see grouped together, all that jazz. Make sure to follow me on the social media link down below and to subscribe to the newsletter so you don't miss anything. And until next time.